Welcome to Pass the PE Exam, your ultimate guide to success on the professional engineering exam. In this episode, I'll explain the importance of codes and standards related to the PE exam, how they shape engineering practice, and their role in exam questions. I'll also guide you on where to find these valuable resources and how to effectively navigate them during the actual exam. The codes and standards section, also known as codes, accounts for approximately 10 questions on the PE exam. This section presents a great opportunity to excel in the exam, so make sure to leverage it to your advantage. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The PE exam is a professional engineering exam that tests the knowledge and skills of engineers who want to become licensed professionals in their respective fields. The exam covers a wide range of topics, including mathematics, engineering sciences, ethics, and professional practice. However, codes and standards are a critical component of the exam, as they are the foundation of engineering practice. Codes and standards are sets of guidelines and regulations that define how engineering projects should be designed, how they should be constructed, and also maintained. They are developed by professional organizations, sometimes government agencies, and also industry groups to ensure safety, quality, and reliability in engineering projects. Therefore, candidates taking the PE exam must have a deep understanding of the codes and standards that are related to their discipline. The exam questions may ask candidates to identify the relevant codes and standards for a specific scenario or to apply the codes and standards to solve a problem. They are used for both conceptual questions and process-oriented questions. For example, a civil engineer may be asked to identify the relevant building codes for a specific construction project or to calculate the required thickness of a concrete slab based on the American Concrete Institute or ACI code. To prepare for the exam, candidates must study the relevant codes and standards thoroughly. They should be familiar with the content, structure, and application of each code and standard. They should also understand how to use these resources to solve problems and make decisions in their professional practice. So first, how do you find out what codes may be discussed on your exam? Depending on the PE exam you will take, go to the NCWS website, ncws.org forward slash exams forward slash PE dash exam, and select the exam specifications of your preference. Then, select the engineering discipline to download the exam specifications and design standards. Once in the document, you can find a list of the codes and standards related to that exam. Secondly, and just as important, how do you access these code documents during the actual PE exam? You're going to have to know how to do that. So during the exam, you can click on the Design Codes and Standards tab on the left side of the screen. Some larger files will be separated into chapters for optimal exam performance. Click on a title to open the file. Only one file can be opened at a time. You can search for words and phrases or click on linked bookmarks to navigate the file. There you have it. 
we discussed why codes are important, how to find out what codes you are responsible for understanding based on what exam you are planning to take, and also how to access these codes during the actual exam, which is critical for saving you time so you can answer all of the problems. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your PE exam result and ultimately in your career. And please, I always urge our subscribers to ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a topic that you really want me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.